guys, what's up? I'm Tracy Seeker 8 here, and I'm going to teach you guys how to make a breakable door using whatever thing, anything you have, pretty much. Um, so, um, let's say you want to make a door breakable and you don't want to use a key. Or, this also works that if you do have, oh, I'll, I'll teach you that in a, uh, uh, on another tutorial, on the next tutorial actually, um, how to open a door using a key without um, having an inventory. So, I'm going to teach you guys how to do that, um, but for this, uh, you just throw, uh, let's say you have a box and you have a door, and you can throw the box at the door and it'll break, so uh, that's how, how we can do it. So let's create a uh, uh, JavaScript here and call it door break. And let's add this to the door one. What? Okay, wait. Okay, now. Okay. So now we have it there. So far, so good. No errors. Should be. Uh, what? What? What was that? I don't even know. Okay. Okay, so uh, we're gonna do a. Uh, we're gonna need a variable. Uh, and I'm gonna have to call it. You're gonna have to call it is locked. Or you can just do locked equals true. But I put is locked, so. It's we know that it is locked and we're gonna set it to true we gonna need a variable of a key well not really a key but like a a box or something like an object alright alright um object uh object you know object and then uh, you can set this to array Um, the array is for that, uh, if, let's say you have more than one, uh, object and you want to, and you want to, uh, use one of them to break open that, so, you know, let's say you have one, okay, that box can break it, alright, that, that box can break it, you have another box, that box can break it also, so it's not only focused on one thing, so, okay, okay, so we're going to do if, is locked equals true which it is then um, and if input dot get key down uh, key code dot mouse Ooh. Zero. So that means we're using the mouse button. And then uh, we're going to do print is locked. Okay. Okay. So that's just the testing part of it. Now let's see if we have any errors. Uh, what? what? Array. I guess we have to do like that, maybe. Okay, yeah, I fixed it. Okay, um, okay, so it says it's locked, and let's see what it is. It's locked, it's locked, it's locked, it's locked, it's locked. It's locked. Okay, so now we have that now we're gonna get ready to get a get the box to break it so you know and I don't get why it didn't, it didn't say that way I have to check on something here um, why is it only maybe I'm doing it wrong I'm not sure. 
But okay, guys. Um, sorry for that. I had to pause the video for something. Um. Okay, so now that we're gonna, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to. Um. You know, for now, I'm just gonna put up a game object. Okay. But uh, later on, I'll fix the uh, array uh, thing on the next tutorial. And um, okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna have to g we're gonna have to make another function called uh, on collision enter, and then we have to do object collision. brackets and then okay so function on collision enter then that up uh, then what it's gonna do is is locked equals false and instantiate wait wait wait, wait. instantiate Instantiate door or door. Um, cause actually, we'll okay. What this? When I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what this doesn't mean. Uh, uh, position. So what this does is that we're gonna get a uh, door. We're gonna make that door that I had into a rigid body, and then that's gonna like fall out. Okay. Which I already got a thing. I tested this out. So uh, and then destroy. Destroy. Oops. would destroy the door okay so that's pretty much it mm -hmm. no and we need the uh, we need the variable door okay uh, don't forget that so we're going to use a rigid uh, a tran uh, transform okay okay so now we come back in we shouldn't have any errors uh, what is this? Object can be read can be redefined. Okay, because we used object here. Now try. Now let's see. Still. Okay. Um. Let's try. Key. We're just gonna use a box then. Box. Okay, so I have a door already. Uh, wait, no. Oh, I, I guess I deleted it. Well, um, I'm gonna uh, duplicate the door. Whoa, what did we do? I am an idiot. I just, you know what? Delete. Delete. Now you have to wait. All right, no, never mind. Okay, so I'm gonna take duplicated the wrong thing so I want it to fall like that so it can fall flat on the floor and we're gonna take off the remove uh, we're gonna remove the thing and then we're gonna get a, a new uh, prefab, uh, prefab and you know door you know wh whatever um, delete that and then go back to door one a transform the door transform and then the 
box, which we can just create a, uh, a cube, and we can size that down a bit. Okay, make sure that's uh, not touching the wall here. Okay, so then that's going to be a uh, rigid body. Uh, rigid physics, rigid body. Gotta hurry up here.